However, we physicists say that the universe was created in a Big Bang 13.7 billion years ago. But then the question is, why did it bang? What set off the bang? Prepare to have your concept of reality turned inside out. In a groundbreaking discovery, the James Webb Telescope has just made an astonishing revelation. In this video, we delve into one of the most significant cosmic revelations of our time. Brace yourself as we unveil the findings from the James Webb Telescope's latest observations. Witness an unprecedented glimpse into the farthest reaches of the cosmos as we reveal the 700 galaxies lurking at the very edge of our universe. These galaxies might just be the reason the Big Bang Theory gets debunked. That energy is dark energy. There is an energy source even bigger than galactic. Dark energy is the energy of the Big Bang. It's the anti-gravitational force that's creating the expanding universe. Approximately a year ago, NASA treated the world to the very first images captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. This technological marvel, perched at the edge of space, has peeled back the cosmic curtain, revealing secrets that have ignited a collective sense of wonder and curiosity. The first achievement announced by the James Webb Telescope was the awe-inspiring image of the SMACS-0723 galaxy cluster. Located an astounding 5.12 billion light years away, this cluster offers a rare glimpse into the universe's infancy, just 600 million years after the Big Bang. The significance of this discovery cannot be overstated. It grants us insights into the birth and evolution of stars and planets. It unveils the enigmatic mysteries of black holes and even hints at the tantalizing possibility of life beyond Earth's borders. The latest discoveries are even more astonishing, with evidence of 700 galaxies at the edge of the universe. Among the 700 galaxies, astronomers have found six candidates that could challenge our entire understanding of cosmic formation. While our Milky Way produces just a handful of new stars yearly, some of these galaxies have the potential to birth hundreds of new stars every year, spanning across the vast tapestry of the universe's history. The timing of star and galaxy formation doesn't align with what we knew before. These mature galaxies, birthed a mere five to seven hundred million years after the birth of the cosmos, raise fascinating questions about the intricacies of cosmic history and the forces that guided their evolution. Let's journey back in time to a universe just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. This is when the first stars appeared, shining brilliantly and ionizing the universe. At that time, elements heavier than lithium weren't around yet, and the early light was full of ultraviolet radiation from those hot stars. The first stars used something called stellar nucleosynthesis to create heavier elements and enrich the cosmos. They were responsible for a monumental phase called reionization in the universe's history. Scientists have gathered evidence of ultraviolet radiation absorption around quasars, suggesting that hydrogen underwent ionization about 900 million years after the colossal Big Bang. And if everything unfolded as we previously understood, the reionization process would have occurred over a billion years after the Big Bang. It would have taken even longer for galaxies to materialize. But here we stand, confused by the presence of mature galaxies, some as young as five to seven hundred million years old. Is our grasp on the birth of stars and galaxies slipping through our fingers? Will we need to construct a new cosmological model based on these unimaginable discoveries? The answers are hazy. But one thing is crystal clear, our view of the universe will never be the same again. And just when you thought things couldn't get any stranger, the JWST throws us another cosmic curveball. It has found evidence of organic molecules in the early universe. These molecules, called PAHs, were detected in the galaxy SPT-0418-47 located an astonishing 12.3 billion light years away from us. These are the oldest known organic molecules ever discovered and could have played a significant role in forming stars and potentially acted as building blocks for life. The discovery of SPT-0418-47 
offers us an incredible opportunity to study the time frame in which galaxies and the universe formed. It raises the possibility of civilizations similar to Earth existing billions of light years away, expanding our understanding of the cosmos beyond measure. Suddenly, our cosmic neighborhood feels a whole lot bigger and more crowded than we ever could have imagined. However, these discoveries also bring to light conflicts in our understanding of galaxy formation. Currently, two intriguing theories shed light on how giant elliptical galaxies come into being. The first model suggests that these massive galaxies are formed through the rapid collapse of dark gas and matter. During this process, dust clouds swiftly transform into stars, leading to gradual changes in the galaxies over time. Astronomers refer to this scenario as the top-down process. Conversely, the second model demonstrates that giant elliptical galaxies primarily form through the merging of smaller galaxies. As those stars form, the gas content of the galaxies undergoes transformation, following a bottom-up scenario. Combining these observations, it appears that the giant elliptical galaxies we observe today are likely shaped by a combination of both top-down and bottom-up mechanisms. In the densest matter clusters, both processes occur early and rapidly in cosmic history. Keep in mind that both hypotheses for galaxy formation assume that these events occurred billions of years after the Big Bang, at a time when the universe was at least 9.8 billion years old, with dark energy influencing the expansion rate. However, the evidence from the JWST challenges both of these models. This has led us to reconsider our theories about dark matter and cosmic expansion. The James Webb Space Telescope is like a cosmic explorer, shedding light on the wonders of the universe. With each moment that passes, it delves deeper into space, illuminating the secrets waiting to be uncovered. As we marvel at the mysteries of the cosmos, we're reminded of how much more there is to learn. The discoveries made by JWST have sparked a new era of exploration and understanding, driving us to seek the truth about the universe's past, present, and future. In this vast universe with billions of galaxies and stars scattered across immense distances, the possibility of other planets like Earth teeming with life is not beyond imagination. The discovery of organic molecules by JWST offers a glimpse into the potential of life beyond our own world, urging us to keep searching. And with every revelation, the questions grow deeper, and the desire to know more becomes even stronger. As JWST unveils the mysteries of the cosmos, it is guiding humanity on a profound journey of knowledge and understanding.